and there's actually a lot of room in my car, which freaks me out because now I'm thinking I forgot something. I finally finished setting up and it is still freaking hot. I was pleasantly surprised, honestly, because I had pretty low expectations. Hey guys, I am still prepping for night market and I have most of the stuff restocked. So got everything counted, everything is in the suitcase and I just need to go through my um, to-do list. I just need to go through my checklist to make sure I have brought everything and then I need to put everything in the car. So the only issue I have usually um, for night markets is I can never decide if I want to set up on Thursday or Friday. So usually, mostly if it's in Arcadia where it's a further drive for me, I don't usually like to go on setup day because it's like an extra drive. Um, but it's gonna be so hot tomorrow that I don't really want to go that early and sit in the heat and set up in the heat. So the best option is to go today and to set up later in the day where it's cooler, but it is July 4th and there's gonna be a lot of traffic. So I don't know how I feel about it. I'm still trying to decide, but for now, I'm gonna pack the car and finish packing overall. So I'm just doing my last minute checks before they go into my car. I have my two usual suitcase, except um, this suitcase is actually all t-shirts, like the leftover t-shirts. You'll see them kind of like right there. Ooh. And then some display stuff on top. And the um, this golf suitcase, as per usual, has all my backdrop display stuff. I am bringing a tent. Uh, because it's an outdoor event and I'm bringing two of the smaller tables because honestly out of pure laziness I don't like dealing with the bigger tables nowadays although I might only have to bring one big table I'll have to see and then there's more t-shirts in there and for this event specifically because it is a night market and it is outdoors this is my extension cores and these are my lights and because it is so freaking hot this week, I am bringing a fan. Um, and this particular night market has a history of power outages. So I am bringing my own power just in case. Um, usually it can last pretty long if I only have like lights and a fan on it. Um, it usually can last one whole day of the event. And then I do have to bring my sandbags, which is still tucked in there and I'm bringing my grid walls and the step stool so just a lot of stuff for um Arcadia 626 usually uh, my car is pretty maxed out and packed which you'll see in a minute so we are actually all packed and ready to go and there's actually a lot of room in my car which freaks me out because now I'm thinking I forgot something but I did go through my checklist and everything seems to be in there so, just hoping everything is in there that I need. Hi, hi. We've arrived at the night market to set up. I kind of lied. I did end up coming to set up on a Thursday because apparently it's going to be 200 degrees tomorrow and I really don't want to set up in um, crazy weather. So, we actually came later, I think. What time is it? It's like 6.54. Technically, setup ends at 6, but insider tip, apparently they don't care if we're here later, so we actually arrived after the setup time. But the doors were open and there's actually people still setting up. A lot of the food vendors set up pretty late too, so it should be fine. Um, I've heard people end up setting up until like midnight, 2 a.m., that kind of stuff. So we should be fine. All right, we finished first day of setup. I didn't do that much, honestly. So we got the tent up, we got one sidewall up, and I don't really put other sidewalls, or I'm gonna wait because it gets so hot if I do put the sidewalls up. It kinda gets really, really, really um, humid inside the tent. So I'm gonna see what my neighbors are doing and then decide if I wanna put the sidewalls up and most of the merch we are taking back with us. That's just like display stuff. And I put the sides up. So
So, I mean, I did a little bit. There's still a lot more to do, maybe like two hours of setup. But I wanted to get the big stuff here so I didn't have to haul it. And the lights are also out. That's like one of the biggest issues for me. Um, takes the longest. So the lights are up, tents up, and the big stuff's up. So coming back tomorrow in that 100 degree weather. And look at that sunset. We're totally here after hours. There's, there's quite a few people that set up. Maybe like half. Um, which is smart because the cutoff for drive-in time is like 2 p.m. tomorrow. So you have to be here like before that and it's going to be hot, hot before that. So I didn't want to have to drive in at like 1 and sit in the sun for three hours. So that's why myself here. Oh, but look how cute it is. My little burbs. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow in the blistering heat. I finally finished setting up and it is still freaking hot. I came relatively late. Um, I think I arrived here at 3.30 and the event starts at 4. But because it's so hot, I don't think people come that early in the morning. So it should be okay. Um, I got my sticker wall and then I got my plush wall and my socks are up. And then I am doing a little different thing where I'm hanging my uh, t-shirts in here <laughs> and I'm trying to like make sure it doesn't sag with this contraption but it's not exactly working out so I might have to rethink it later tonight. Um, but all my stickers are in their little organizers. Got my spinner. The sign is down. The wind was pretty bad uh, just now. And then I got all these guys. So I am using the displays on the top a little differently. And there's my sticker books. And this is just a block sun. I'm probably going to put it up after the sun goes down. Okay, I did end up fixing it. So it should be fine now. And here's how the back looks. Not too bad. Thank God we have this extra area so I can like put stuff, store-ish stuff. All right, I'm walking around before it gets too busy because since it's so hot during the day, I doubt there's gonna be a lot of people in before sundown, essentially. So, give you a little walkthrough of our row over here. Um, this side is actually vendors, which is way more expensive. I think they start at like, I don't know. 800 900 dollars now and i think the entrance is to the right over here technically so that's the entrance and they can walk through here there is a way to walk over there but this area is not too bad very cute stuff and then there is a divide in the middle where um the other side is our walk and then that side over there is Art Walk, where I am. And it is technically like a jurd or selection-based event, so you aren't guaranteed every event. I think what they've been trying to do is they've been trying to cycle in and out artists, so they allow you, I guess, to guarantee one or two. And then from there, it just depends on um, wait lists and stuff like that, but here's my booth, yay. And as you walk, there's more vendors in the center where, um, if you are familiar with the racetracks, where the racetrack goes. So to the left over there, hold on. So to the left over here is more vendors. And then down that way, there's a lot more vendors. And what's funny is it's so hot, they actually set up a missing station. So um, you can stand here and cool down. Yeah. Just eating a little bit. And I use the Hot Logic Mini to heat up my food. And I do bring my own food. Just like stuff I buy from uh, Mitsuwa before I come. And I put them in little Tupperwares and then I can heat them up and eat them here. 
Hey guys, it is the last hour of day one of Night Market 66 Arcadia version and July 4th weekend. It's getting pretty quiet, but it usually gets pretty quiet last hour, so I'm getting this chance to do some filming. But yeah, so, so far not bad um, in terms of Night Market, but I am comparing it to OC Night Market, which was relatively bad for me this year. So take that with the grain of salt, I guess. I am pretty happy with day one, so we'll see how Saturday goes. Hopefully it's a lot cooler. I think um, when I first arrived, it was like 100 degrees. And then at nine o'clock, it was still like 80 degrees. So it was like relatively hot throughout the whole day. But hopefully, I think tomorrow's supposed to be a little cooler. So hopefully that means more people will be out. But um, yeah, closing up. But I will see you guys tomorrow at 3, 3 o'clock here. Good Saturday morning. Just got to the night market and I am running behind because I encountered some traffic. But got my little cart and they do, you do have to like check in at vendor. So they did do a little bit of security check when we came in. Which I think is relatively new. Um, but also they do it after the event start. <sighs> so hot today. Actually, it's cooler than yesterday, to be fair. I think it's like five to 10 degrees cooler. But I think the thing with Night Market is that um, because of the food vendors, which is all over here, people usually go to the foods first. So let's say if they get in, they will kind of be lying to the food and then after the fact they'll probably go shopping for merch so we don't usually see a lot of customers right away the first few hours just because they'll probably come after they eat so they don't have to walk around with merchandise if they buy something which makes sense it's probably what i would do if i came all right since we got a little time before it gets pretty busy it is Saturday, I think it's around, what time is it? Five, it's 5 p.m. Let's go over how this night market is going so far and my thoughts. So I've been doing night markets since 2017, somewhere around there. And kind of seeing the ebbs and flow, it has gone through mostly through COVID. So night markets originally were pretty steady income. But I also think that was because it was like the only night market and now they have a lot more competition in terms of food events um, and even the night work market phrase. So you got Foodie Land, you got other night markets in the LA area popping up. Um, you got even like Anime Expo is doing a night market concept within their event. So definitely think with the increase in competition of events. Some events do pretty well if it's not surrounded by a, little, a lot of other events during that time. Um, others, you know, the heat, you know, affects it. Time affects it. Yeah, just a lot of things. This one is the July 4th weekend one. And traditionally it overlaps with Anime Expo. Sometimes it's like the first through the fourth and conveniently this July 4th was on a Thursday on the second weekend of July. I see a lot of people um, after Anime Expo is over come to Night Market and it is only a 20 minute drive. So I feel like that is a thing, which is kind of cool. So it competes less, I think, than people assume. For Night Markets, if you're comparing it with other events like traditional conventions or even other markets you are competing against food vendors it sounds really weird because we're merch but essentially um, food vendors also require a lot of money and people who come for food you know they're spending a majority of their money on food and then if they got some money left over they probably spend on merch on the way out um, kind of like I mentioned earlier they will shop towards the end when they leave, which does make sense. But as a result, 
like if they spend all their money on food, they're probably not going to buy anything afterwards. So just something to keep in mind that makes it a little different than other markets and events. Um, this pertains particularly to food events. So Foodie Land, probably similar vibes. In terms of this July 4th one, I've seen it do worse. Honestly, I feel like two or three years ago or... I know it's like overall it's consistently in the night markets have not been as consistent, but the July 4th weekend has always been one of those weekends everybody wants to vend at because it's traditionally really um, hyped and popular and a lot of people come out for it because it's like a holiday. So I don't think it's absolutely necessarily better of a weekend, but at the same time, yeah, you do get the benefit of people having an extra day off and maybe like be more willing to come out. So, take it what it is. But I think overall, this night market is one kind of like in the mid tiers of night markets I've been at. Um, I think the most crazy ones I went to are like the more early ones, like 2018. And then during COVID, it was crazy too because everybody was like, oh my God, COVID's losing it. Let's go out and do stuff. Um, and now it's kind of slowly coming back so we'll kind of have to see how um, the overall landscapes of food markets outdoor markets go and I do think per usual economy is affecting but even with the economy relatively perceived as bad people are coming out you know I see relatively quite a few people out and enjoying themselves even with the heat so it looks promising and Hopefully, um, I'll be at two more night markets, and hopefully those will also do better than I expect. So yes, overall, TLDR, I guess, this did better than I expect, but I had like really low expectations, so. Night, we have plenty. Yeah, but I feel bad just like dropping $100 on $10 purchase. Okay. So I work retail, don't get much cash sales. Oh like, yeah, nowadays, yeah. seriously. Yeah, when I buy a card, I'm like, I feel bad with all this cash, I'm like, it is Sunday at the night market and it's actually slower than yesterday and Friday in my perspective um, I was talking to some vendors yesterday though and they did mention like July 4th weekend is not as good. It's been a minute since I've done all the um, night markets. I think last year I only did one 626 one. So don't actually know which one is better than the other ones, but to me they're kind of all the same. But people have been saying that next weekend is supposed to be better because you're not fighting with um, Anime Expo for one and other events for July 4th so yeah I guess if you're looking for a night market weekend it would usually be the weekend after July 4th um, so that was interesting oh, we're all done with night markets and we're packing up very very quickly <laughs> and there's husband helping me pack all the mess going on now so it is kind of like the week after night market and I had some time to not only look at the numbers but to kind of like meditate on what I think about the night markets in general. So I do think the 626 night market overall is better than the OC night market. I don't know what's really going on with the OC night market but I did notice the turnout was a lot lower than this year than it has been previously. I do think that there's a bunch of reasons for that that I'll go over next time I film the OC Night Market. But I do think and am happy with how the 66 Night Market turned out. I was pleasantly surprised, honestly, because I had pretty low expectations after doing those terrible OC Night Market. Yeah, no problem making bath booth, even at the increased price point of I think it's like 900 now so take that with uh some security if you're interested in doing the night markets i do think it's still worth for now um they have been affected by competition like i mentioned i do still agree with that i believe in the past it was 
better. So if you're going by advice from people that did it, like either um, just coming out of COVID or back in 2018, I do think the night market, well, specifically the 66 night market landscape has changed a little bit and to not expect like outrageous sales, but just to think of it as a pretty decent event. So that's my take on it after going through all my numbers. I will be going back for two more. So I hopefully will have more information for you on what I think of the night markets overall this year. I'll be going to one more OC night market and two more 66 night markets in Arcadia. So check out my link below to see what dates I'll be there in case you want to see me there as well. But thank you so much for joining us on our vlog this time. Um, if you like our videos, be sure to like, subscribe, click the bell, all those things. And if you are interested in watching more of our vlogs, I also go to conventions, anime, uh, Comic-Con conventions, and I'll leave the link to all our vlogs in the side right here. So until next time, which I think will be Odecon, I will see you then. Bye.